Complexity of embedded software and electrical components in today's electric vehicle are growing rapidly with up to 100 ECUs and 100 million lines of code driving OEM and Tier 1 companies to implement model-based development that closely mimic the behavior of the real hardware. To shift lift the development process and to improve time to market, the design team requires an integrated, collaborative and multidiscipline approach from hardware to software and systems. Synopsis provides industry-leading virtual prototyping solution that enables an integrated development flow for EV systems, increasing productivity and removing dependencies on physical systems. In this video, a comprehensive solution for software in-loop validation using Silver and Sabre EXP to optimize EV electronic system development is demonstrated. The plan model involving the vehicle battery, electric motor, power electronic controller and vehicle dynamics are modeled in Sabre EXP and the virtual ECUs are modeled in silver. In this solution, the plan model is exported as functional mock-up unit and imported into silver environment for closed loop validation. Let us look at the silver environment first. A time domain simulation is performed on an electric vehicle model with a manual drive cycle input to study the closed loop control in silver. Silver is a powerful experimentation environment for validating and testing the interaction of network ECUs through simulation. The simulation starts with the condition such that the vehicle is parked. We can observe that the battery has not started discharging and the vehicle speedometer shows 0 km per hour. To start the vehicle, turn on the ignition first and shift the gear to drive mode. The vehicle acceleration is controlled using the speed reference slider widget. Other input variables such as brake pedal and road inclination can also be controlled here via silver widgets. The output variables such as battery current, vehicle speed, motor phase currents can be viewed from the planned model imported from Sabre EXP. The silver GUI widgets are also used to monitor the duty cycle generated and other ECU parameters. The vehicle is accelerated using the speed reference slider. As vehicle starts to accelerate, you can see that the output signal speed tries to match with the reference speed. As the speed input is varied, the ECU helps the vehicle to attain the requested speed by adjusting the duty cycle based on the feedback parameters from the planned model. Now, to decelerate the vehicle, the reference speed is brought back to zero. We can see that the vehicle is slowing down. Further, by applying brake, we can see the vehicle decelerates even faster and eventually stops. In silver environment, the basic software for ECUs can be built. For example, C code is used to build a field-oriented control controller that drives the electric motor. The duty cycles for the three-phase voltage source inverter are generated from the ECU to control the motor and achieve the required speed. The EV plan model is built and exported as FMU from Sabre EXP. Let us look into the EV plan model in Sabre EXP environment. Sabre EXP is a piecewise linear circuit simulator with a high-speed mixed mode solver. The plan model is a virtual prototype of an EV powertrain that consists of permanent magnet synchronous motor, average voltage source inverter, vehicle dynamics and battery models. The analog signals such as speed, torque, motor angle, battery current and vehicle speed are fed back to ECU for closed loop control. The complete software in loop validation can be done with the Sabre in collaboration with Silver by integrating this ECU executable with vehicle model, we get realistic results. This enables the testing of software application code without hardware intervention. The software in loop testing allows for analyzing various driving scenarios and sensor inputs, ensuring the software's ability to make safer decisions in autonomous driving applications. It helps to assess the control software for electric vehicles, including battery management system and regenerative braking. 